What's up guys, my name is Joseph. Today, we're working on how to refine the Piaf with Finch here. And I've coached a lot of people in hand and helped them under saddle to improve the Piaf. Really, there's like three major things that are a shift in, in a trainer's mindset that have a huge impact on actually making the Piaf better. So today we're talking about those three things, those three secrets that make the Piaf way, way, way better. Okay, so step one is actually to start in hand. I think this is huge. And if you look at any athletic pursuit, one of the things that almost every athlete does is they make something easier for themselves. So think about yourself doing a pull-up. If you can't do a pull-up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do exercises that simplify that pull-up, make it a little bit easier, and then refine it until you can master those simpler exercises and get stronger and get your technique better and then you're going to take away that handicap so think about that for in hand work right we take away the weight of the rider we change that we can help them a little bit more understand what we're asking for and then later on we can add our weight under saddle and refine it from there it's really just a way of making things easier for the horse to understand right from the beginning so start in hand this stage in hand is really like an educational stage you're trying to teach the horse to understand the concept and that's where you're going to teach them leg lifting you're going to teach them to lift and hold the leg under when you touch it you're going to teach them to shape the body um, meaning lower the haunches come together that's a great time to use the rein back and what you're trying to do is get the building blocks that then they start to understand the piaf. Once they understand what you're after, what you're going to do is you're going to teach the horse to do what you've taught them more and more on their own from a smaller and smaller aid. Anytime you refine the aid, the quality of the piaf actually gets better. So you teach the horse to do it more and more on their own. You help them less. And there's a very specific way that we do that, but I'm gonna show you guys actually under saddle what I'm talking about. At this point in time with Finch, it's almost difficult to see because it's so refined. So what I try to do is I try to teach them to respond to the cluck, okay? You'll hear me at this stage still use my cluck. I'll cluck to him to get him into the piaf. And then if he doesn't respond, then I'll bump him with my leg um, until he responds. After I bump him with my leg, this is really important. There's times where if he doesn't respond, I'll bump him with my leg. He'll react because he's a sensitive horse. But it doesn't necessarily mean I have to get the piaf right away. Sometimes I'll bump him, he'll react, I'll go back to halt. This is really important because you want them, you want to teach them to react and that they can react and then resolve the problem. But if you continue on too long and they don't understand the Piaf, sometimes they'll try to drag that out forward. Uh, you wanna teach them to respond to something and stay on the spot. It's a difficult part of teaching the Piaf. My third tip for you guys is make it on the spot. This is a tricky one because as with many things in horsemanship, it's a feel, right? And there's a place to draw your Piaf out into a half step, teach them to swing over the back. But there is equally a place to teach them how to come totally on the spot. If you're always dragging it out forward, there's a component of the engagement and of the mechanics with the Piaf that you miss. And so it's really important that even if it's just for a moment, that you start to teach your horses how to come totally on the spot. Eventually down the road for the Grand Prix, you'll need to be on the spot. And in coming on the spot, you help them understand the mechanics that they need. So 
they can kind of fake the mechanics if they're dragging it out into a half step where the moment you come on the spot you see the true genuine engagement and you have to kind of balance pushing that a little bit because as soon as you come on the spot then you see the haunches lower them lift the whole withers off the ground and give you a totally correct piaf. Hopefully this helps. Uh, some tips on how to teach the piaf, how to get the piaf refined, and how to get the piaf really, really correct. Finch is the best. He's an amazing horse. Not all horses have the talent to do that. Um, if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna do a bunch more like these. Leave us a like, click the little bell. That means you'll get a notification when I post a new video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Do you guys want a bonus tip? All right, think about the connection, okay? The best piaf is a, a whole body movement. And so much of dressage is about the connection. So don't forget that. Think that you can have a soft and light but a continuous connection onto the snaffle rein. This is gonna help you control their whole body positioning. That you can get them to sit, you can get them to take weight behind, you can get them to lift the whole withers, the whole front end of their body off the ground a little bit. And if you get that connection correct, you're gonna end up with a much better piaf that's not only bigger, but also more rideable. that You can get out to the transition when you need to, and you can go to the passage. All right, peace guys, for real this time.